Uh, one thing that we're proud of, I think, but we don't take it for granted, is Starbucks has a certain meaning for everybody across the world. It's such a loved brand. And even the Indian people, in not just in Bombay, Delhi, when I do market uh, assessments of even smaller cities, people actually want to touch and feel Starbucks. I think it's a very loved brand and we are blessed because of that. I think the key uh, difference, differentiator for us is that we are the authentic coffee house. And for us, it is a passion and a commitment to deliver the finest coffee experience. And we define the coffee experience not just with that perfect cup, but the third place that you provide and the human connection that you have. I think one of the most uh, inspiring things that Starbucks Corporation has done in the recent years, and I think they started as asking the question that if you have to drive good with your scale, how can you do it? And in the Starbucks world, we say that the store is just the last 10 feet. Really, the journey starts at 90 feet, which is the coffee farms. And they have specialists who not only source coffee, but work with agrarian experts to actually see how you can make coffee ethically sourced, which means that you have to be transparent on the pricing that you pay to the farmer, as well as ensure that there is the, so, you know, the basic norms that we lay down in terms of labor and the way that the farms are run. We call that cafe practices. So when we say that we ethically source coffee, we're talking about social consciousness of how you deal with the farmer to ensure that he has an economic model which is sustainable. At the same time, how does he take care of the environment? I think in India today, there are top uh, you know, 50 cities which are very, very exciting for any retail company. The big markets remain you know, Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad. So when we planned our strategy in India jointly with Tata's and Starbucks, I think we were very clear that the brand has a lot of uh, you know, love and uh, I would say the affinity of the brand across the different cities was quite high. So we obviously picked cities where we felt we could drive the success and build the scale and penetrate deeper. At the same time, not only look at ourselves uh, restricted only to five or six cities, I think there's a lot of potential in India and it needs to be capitalized. I think our scaling up has uh, been driven by the fact of how we can service the markets from a supply chain perspective by delivering the right partner experience and choosing the best locations. I think for us, these are the three considerations. And each store is treated as a separate uh, unit. And I think if the store can work itself on the profitability norms and all the other requirements, then we go into it. I think the true uh, challenge, which we believe that requires constant focus and engagement, is how do you inspire people to stay true? And when we speak about Starbucks as an experience, you know, the sustainability of the company in terms of this coffee house, it's not coffee, it's not, we're not in the business of really selling coffee, we're in the business of people who serve you the finest coffees. And to engage with these young people and to continually inspire them to do it, I think that is a significant challenge for the leadership team, not in India, but in every market, because they are really the DNA and what makes Starbucks come alive.